On overdrive this week, Mercedes-Benz India lights up the festive season with the new GLE long wheelbase SUV and the AMG C43 4Matic sedan. We also ride the latest iteration of the KTM 250 Duke. Hello and welcome to Overdrive. I am Soini Dutt. Mercedes-Benz India has made good on its promise of launching 10 products this year and the last two products to make up that list has been the long wheelbase GLE and also the C43 AMG. Now the GLE has launched at 96.4 lakh rupees. Rohit will tell you all about it. The Mercedes-Benz GLE is one of the best-selling luxury SUVs out there and now the facelift has arrived at our shores. So without wasting any further time, let's dive right into it and see what's new. Let's begin with the front-end design which now has more elegant and dynamic touches at the same time. For example, the bumpers will not only look aggressive but they also add to the aerodynamic efficiency of the vehicle, whereas the grille was diamond studded on the previous model here you get these small stars in it which looks really nice but of course the most important or the most striking feature are the new headlights which get this four pot led signature and that's the easiest way of identifying the new gle facelift from the outgoing one the tail lights too have been updated to follow a similar pattern. Gone are those boxy design elements that you had on the outgoing car. In comes a more stylish pattern with simpler lines which looks quite elegant. The new GLE comes with 20 inch wheels options and there are new designs as well to choose from. Seen here is the AMG line because this is the GLE 450 which is outfitted with the AMG inspired body trim and wheels. Step inside the cabin and you will see updated elements here as well. Now the two 12.3 inch screens, they still continue to dominate the dashboard, but look at the AC vents, the galvanized metal around it is inspired from the GLS and there's also a new steering wheel design now which looks quite elegant and gets these touch sensitive buttons akin to all the new generation of Mercedes-Benz cars. Since this is a facelift, there is no change to the seating geometry or the space. However, you do get new upholstery options to choose from depending on the variant that you're buying. The MBUX system has been given some new functions which we'll verify and try and use in our review of this car. A host of features that were available on the outgoing GLE have been made standard on the updated model. Here's a quick list of features that are available as per the variant that you choose. Formatic is standard of course, but one new feature that has been added to the GLE facelift is the transparent hood or the transparent bonnet feature that we also saw on the GLC. The 450 variants also get the adaptive suspension. You get air suspension on all four corners of the car on the 450 variants, which is the 450 petrol and the 450 diesel. Under the hood of the new GLE are updated engine options. So you get three variants to choose from. There is the GLE 300D, there is a GLE 450 petrol and a range topping GLE 450D. All the engines have been operated on the power and torque. They get 48 volt electronics and the ISD or the integrated starter generator as a standard fit. The new GLE is still available in three variants as before. So you get the GLE 300D, which is at the base, priced at about 96.4 lakh ex showroom. There's also the GLE 450 petrol that you see here. And then there is the GLE 450D, which replaces the 400D. So the 450 petrol is priced at 1.1 crore ex showroom. The 450D will be priced at 1.15. Now that vehicle is only going to come to Indian shores by about February. They are only going to be registering the interest for that vehicle right now. So if you're interested, go pay a visit to a Mercedes-Benz dealership and let them know that you want one and they'll get you one by February. The other two variants are going to go on sale immediately. So hopefully you should have it in time for Diwali. And that's what we think. But I think the pricing is really good. It is on par with the outgoing model. At the 
launch event, Mercedes-Benz announced that the deliveries of the 300 and the 450 will start this month itself. But the delivery for the 450D variant will start in the first quarter of 2024. The GLE long wheelbase variant will go up against the likes of the BMW X5, the Q7 uh, from Audi and also the Range Rover Villar. Before we head into a break, let's quickly glance through the motoring news this week. The biggest news comes in from Tata Motors' electric mobility space. Tata's future premium EV concept, Avinia, first showcased in 2022 and then at the 2023 Auto Expo, hinted at what the future range of premium electric vehicles from Tata passengers' electric mobility would look like. And this week, Tata Motors announced they will be using JLR's electric platforms for their next-generation EVs. As per the agreement, Tata Passenger Electric Mobility will be able to license JLR's electrified modular architecture platform in exchange for a royalty fee for the development of TPEM's premium pure electric vehicle series Avinia on the EMA platform. This EMA platform is designed for native battery electric vehicle dimensions to maximize internal space, comfort and visibility. According to JLR, the EMA platform will have a highly integrated propulsion system that will provide world-class vehicle economy and range. JLR's electrical and electronic architecture can achieve L2 Plus autonomy while retaining all modern connection, comfort and convenience features. EMA, developed to worldwide standards, offers Tata Passenger Electric Mobility a solid infrastructure to provide Avinia with global product efficiency and range requirements. On the two-wheeler front, a leaked document suggests we could see a new high-range Aether 450X variant launching soon called the Aether 450X HR. The leaked document suggests the 450X HR comes with a 3.66 kWh battery pack and a claim range of 158 km, that is 8 km more than the standard 450X on sale currently. The electric scooter is also expected to command a higher price tag than the range-topping model currently on sale. We'll take a very quick break here on the show, but coming up on the other side, we'll acquaint you with the Mercedes AMG C43, which was also launched, and the new KTM 250 Duke. Welcome back, you're watching Overdrive. KTM has tweaked every part of the new 250 Duke and still has managed to retain its price of 2.90 lakh rupees. Let's find out why it's so special. Earlier in September 2023, India welcomed one of the most exciting and highly anticipated motorcycles of the year in the form of the 2024 KTM 390 Duke. Now we're out here today with another version that has uh, undergone a substantial amount of change like that particular motorcycle. This is the 2024 KTM 250 Duke and of course as you can see from the looks, well this motorcycle looks completely refreshed. It's a big departure away from the previous generation model. And there's more to it because the engine, the chassis, the features, everything about this motorcycle has undergone a certain amount of change and it is all new as well. So what this motorcycle is like to ride out on the road, out here in Mumbai, well, you're about to find out. Like the 390 Duke Naked Sport, this quarter-litre version 2 draws its inspiration from the Radical 1290 Super Duke. The new 250 Duke styling is very similar to that of the 2024 390 Duke and you think that both models look identical if not for the displacement defining paint schemes that they are offered. But on closer inspection, there's a little more to it than just that. Yes, the aggressive appearance has been up a notch overall on both motorcycles, but its broad headlight will definitely divide opinion. Now even more so that it misses out on the LED DRLs that flank the unit on the 390cc model. Those sharp tank extensions are also small out here and the 250cc model gets an LCD display instead of the vibrant TFT instrumentation screen on the 390. Both the 2024 KTM 390 and 250 models do miss out on a belly pad which exposes the exhaust components a lot more than how it was with the earlier models. In terms of features, the 250 Duke ticks off a good amount of boxes when it comes to modern essential bits like the ride-by-wire throttle, slip and assist clutch, a bi-directional quick shifter and there's also switchable ABS on the rear if you want to hoon about a bit. Like with the bigger 390 Duke, this one too sports the all-new switch gear which ups the overall feel-good factor 
and it also gets Bluetooth connectivity which enables turn-by-turn -turn navigation and call-in music control. There's also nifty average fuel consumption reading along with the other useful ride information in there as well. It does however miss out on the ride modes, traction control and launch control. You know the features that the 390 Duke comes standard with. Still, all lovely additions that enhance the motorcycle's aesthetic value overall. But the engine? Oh man, now that's one change that I really grew to appreciate. Now the best part about this motorcycle has to be the engine. Well, it's all new once again. Now the 249cc single cylinder liquid cooled of course gets a bigger radiator. Like on the 390 Duke, it has two fans to help aid uh, the cooling aspect a lot better. The cylinder head has been changed, the six-speed gearbox, the gear ratios have been revised and of course, well, it is up on power and torque as well. So currently, this uh, LC4C engine, the new one, it makes around 31 PS of max power and 25 Nm of max torque, which is up by 1 PS and 1 Nm over the older model. Although it isn't as smooth and refined as the engine on the 390, well, the, the new Duke uh, 390, well, you will have to work the throttle a lot more to reach the speeds uh, that you would like to be doing to keep up with the motorcycle of that sort. But it definitely isn't lacking anything in the performance department for a quarter litre motorcycle. Uh, well, it weighs a lot lighter and of course it makes a lot more power than before. So obviously that is always going to be a good thing. You could be doing around 80 kmph and top cog at around 5000 rpm or even 100 km power for that matter at a little over 6000 rpm and the engine won't feel as strained as it used to at this speed on the older bike because well of the bigger airbox on this new 250cc model as compared to the older gen 2 model of course it means that this new lc4c motor feels a lot more relaxed in comparison and breathes a lot better which in turn helps keep acceleration smooth and composed at practically all speeds it doesn't feel like you really have to be on it all the time to extract the true potential from this motorcycle because it all occurs a lot more naturally now it's a lot more tractable and manageable at lower speeds with a strong mid-range so you don't really feel short chains on that account but you will have to downshift to execute and overtake in a jiffy when you want to go hard with this one it certainly will not disappoint you'd feel like a kid at a candy store all over again Riding posture on the new 250 Duke, like before, is almost upright with very little weight on your palms while your feet are tucked back in a rather sporty manner. The bike is also around 8 kgs lighter than before thanks to all those new cycle parts including those lightweight wheels which are borrowed from the latest RC models. So it feels incredibly light to ride and agile at all speeds. This new die-cast aluminum subframe that's bolted onto the main steel trellis chassis allows you to take on corners with so much ease it feels almost unreal. And the fact that the ground clearance has increased by almost 25mm now means that it will take some while for you to build enough confidence to tilt low enough and scrape its legs. The MRF tires held up very nicely out here on the dry, but let's just say that your desire for better running shoes will increase in tandem with your will to push this bike further to its limits. Because hammering up and down the slick gearbox with that crisp quick shifter while taking on corners at speed, well this KTM does lose a bit of its composure. And if that's not your cup of tea, well then you'll also be happy to know that this bike manages to clear every ungodly speed breaker a city like Mumbai can throw at you while the clutch lever remains light and a treat to use in heavy traffic. The WP Big Piston Fork up front is a real boon to have on you and you feel well informed and in control through it all, even though it isn't adjustable like on the 390D. The preload adjustable offset monoshock gives the rear of the 250 Duke a good mix of absorption and stiffness. Like with the 390 Duke, the seat out here gives you a good amount of room to move about and find the right spot. But the longer you're in this saddle, well, the longer you'll crave a seat with higher foam density. So overall, this 2024 KTM 250 Duke is a lot more rider friendly than it was before while making more power and weighing a lot less than the previous model. And that's the brilliant thing about it because it delivers on exactly what you'd expect from a quality performance focused 250cc single cylinder KTM motorcycle and then some. Alright, now to sum things up out here with the 2024 KTM 250 Duke. Well, as a quarter litre motorcycle, it has definitely upped its ante in the segment because, well, for around the same price that you would have paid like a year ago, 
where you're getting a, a well-rounded, a better-rounded package in terms of performance, in terms of ride and handling, in terms of features. Well, basically, you're getting so much more for the same cost. And in this day and age, there's, it, it's very hard to come by uh, something like that. It has a lot more features and it is more rider-friendly. It's a lot more comfortable in the saddle as well. So it, this motorcycle has a lot working for it and it definitely makes a very strong case for itself, even though it is one of the more expensive versions in the quarter-litre motorcycle segment at this point. Well, it's time for us to take a final break here on the show. But coming up on the other side, we will acquaint you with Mercedes's latest powerhouse with the AMG badge. Welcome back, you're watching Overdrive, a Mercedes AMG sports sedan with F1 technology at heart. Let's find out more about the Mercedes C43 AMG. Mercedes-Benz gave us the new C-Class a little while back and now the first AMG variant of the W206 has arrived here. This is the new C43 AMG which packs in a bit of Formula 1 derived technology. Let's check it out. Starting off with the design, the AMG immediately sets itself apart with the sporty elements. Like for example the grille, you see these vertical slats on the grille which, which immediately establish this as the AMG and then you also get these huge air dams in the bumpers all highlighting the sporty intent of the car. The India Spec C43 AMG comes packed with 19 inch rims shot with 265 section tyres at the rear and two 45 section tires at the front. So what you get is mixed tire sizes to go with the performance intent of this car. The tail looks sportier still with the quad exhaust pipes. Also on this car you will see a beautiful matte paint job which is one of the options out of the seven color options that are available for India. And the night pack is standard which means that you get this black trimming for the diffuser elements and also a gloss black finish for the wing mirrors. The performance intent continues on the inside as well where you get this beautiful aluminum line steering wheel. There's also this microfiber finish on the steering wheel. You get a similar finish here on the seats. You'll also see the red stitching and matching red seat belts. And there is a lot of metal in all the inlays that sort of emphasizes on that luxury yet performance orientation of this car. You also get these beautifully done paddle shifters behind the steering wheel which complete the look and enhance the sporty intent of the AMG. And this is a proper four-door with proper four seats which means that you can also take your family along for those high adrenaline drives. Speaking of it, you will also see this turbo electrified badge on the car which essentially points to the electric turbocharger under the hood, a technology that is derived from Mercedes and AMG's Formula One learnings. Under that hood is a two liter AMG engine. And despite this being a 43, this engine is actually made in Apaltabak. It is assembled under the one man, one engine philosophy, which is the big news for the new C43 AMG. In terms of the performance, it puts out over 400 PS of power and goes from 0 to 100 in 4.6 seconds. Top speed is limited to 250 kilometers an hour, but you can also choose the performance pack, which will take it to 265 kilometers an hour. The engine is mated to the 9G AMG speed shift transmission and in terms of the drive bias, you get a 4MATIC system which is an all-wheel drive system but 69% of the power can be sent to the rear wheels for maximum performance and then you also have the adaptive dampers and everything from the damping to the steering to the powertrain and gearbox responses, everything can be fine-tuned. You also get the track pace app with this car which means should you take it to the racetrack you'll have your own telemetry data system for you prices for the new c43 are still under a crore it's priced at 98 lakh rupees x showroom let us know what do you want us to find out about this vehicle what do you want us to talk about this vehicle when we review it and that is happening real soon can't wait to get my hands on it 
With that, it's a wrap on this week's edition of Overdrive. But remember, you can stay in touch with the team through our various social media platforms and you can connect with us on Instagram as well. We'll see you next week. Until then, goodbye. Many thanks for watching.